You mentioned biofilm, and I think that's something important because I know that's something you you've you've researched and understand really, really well. So, what is that? And 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 my only experience with biofilm would be, and this is like maybe a TMI story, but I was doing suppositories, and like I try, I was given this one that helps remove like a biofilm. Essentially, it was like a horrible experience, and I, I stopped doing suppositories altogether, and it was like almost the end of my deep, deep, deep dive on detox because I felt so terrible from it. But what is biofilm? And, uh, and and please explain what we need to know about it. Yeah, so biofilm, if, if we look at it, the first example really is the plaque on your teeth. So that was examined under a microscope, and that's really how you identify biofilm. So if you just think of bacteria, if you get a bunch of bacteria enough to form a little village of bacteria, that's basically biofilm. It's an aggregation of bacteria. Oh. Huh. Okay. That's what plaque is on your teeth. Some of them readily, you know, when you you get that group of bacteria and the, the biofilm will produce, you know, it, it's almost like a goo layer, if you want to think of it. It makes it so your body can't get rid of it. And so it's uniquely positioned to make an implant, hip, knee, breast, dental, really a chronic low-grade inflammatory situation that your body's constantly reacting to. You take a certain, some kind of supplement to break it down? So you can't really make it go away in that manner. An antibiotic won't clear it. Uh, a kinase, you know, um, a, a lot of people use different types of kinases to break down scar. It doesn't really bust up and eliminate the biofilm we're describing because the surface is the problem. It's stuck to a surface that has no blood flow. It's a hip implant, a knee implant, a breast implant in this situation, a dental implant. If you listen to the biologic dentists talk about it, they send these things off and find all sorts of bacteria and viruses adhered to the old, um, where they did the root canal and it died. So there's just... I guess countless examples of when you don't have a good blood supply or no blood supply in the case of an implant, it's an easy place for bacteria to uh, develop these colonies and produce this, you know, aggregate and, and biofilm and, and make it so that it's really taxing to the immune system. 